Well, you guys, we're here at the Overland Expo in Virginia and some pretty exciting stuff's happening here. We, uh, I, I feel like it's a, just been a monumental year for America and off-road campers. I mean, we are now here and we've met up with a, a new manufacturer. It's like, oh my goodness, right? It's like they're popping up everywhere, but they've, they've all actually just been in the works for years and yeah. it's just time. It just happens to be now is the time that things come out. Yeah, I mean, we we I mean, we went like what? Uh, I mean, we've been talking about eight, nine years about building off-road trailers. And then maybe five years ago, we started searching and, and realized, man, the best trailers in the world are in Australia. Nope. And, and so we've been kind of the first people to start importing them to America and, and really just fell in love with caravans you know and all of these and we've talked with almost every caravan off-road company in the world right everybody from Bruder, zone kedrons like I, i've talked to almost all of those people asking them what do we need to do to get you guys over here and now it's like now america stepped in the game because i guess we are just a little bit ahead of it but shortly after as we started importing things all the other manufacturers started seeing this you know and now they're like hmm we need to get into this market too. Well, hey, we can talk about it all day. Shane, oh, yeah. you love to talk, but I'm ready to go check it out. Let's go take yeah. a look at it. Okay, let's go. This is exciting. Hello. Hey. Welcome. Hey, how Glad you doing? Glad you guys here. Hey, Peter. Hey. 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 Well, we're pretty excited about this and about All American Made. Yeah. And we wanted to uh, have you introduce yourself, tell us who you are, and where you come from and how you, how we got it? to this. Right. Yeah. I'm Maynard Miller. I work at Palomino. But um, about two years ago, everybody started producing adventure trailers. So I started looking at it and I wanted to produce something similar to that. But then I was at a show in Chicago and I seen a, a Black Series trailer. So I started looking at that and they had a lot of cool features. And the more I researched, the more I seen that stuff was made over in Australia, South Africa. They had a lot more technology, a lot more fit and finish to it and stuff that what we had in our American trailers. So I started copying off of them and just getting ideas and doing more research and this is the end result of what we produce. I mean through many trials and errors it took us over two years to do it. Yeah. But had a lot of setbacks but every setback that we had produced a better result. So that's I mean, awesome. Yeah. This you, is not what we had set out to do but that this is what our end result came to after many trials and stuff. So. That's, that's awesome. And now you, and how long have you been in manufacturing? Uh, next year will be 20 years. 20 years. I started at Puma, yeah, okay. Palomino. Palomino. So, yeah. You started at Palomino 20 years ago. And you mentioned that, you know, at first you were saying like, I, I thought we were doing pretty good right. in our industry until you... I always thought America was ahead of the game, that we were on top of everybody else. But once I started researching and seeing what comes out of Australia, and, like that, I was like, well, we got a lot to learn. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and it's funny, is because you you saw, you, I mean, we've been seeing a lot of imports from China, like Black yeah. Series, where they're manufactured, but it's that Australian design. Right. And so when you saw that, that led you to looking up, you know. Lotus and uh, Zone, RV, and that's where I got a lot of the ideas from. Yeah. Just looking at all those manufacturers and seeing what they're doing and how they're putting it together and the processes that they use. So. Yeah, and now it's led to this. and and. And some of the things that make me so excited about this working with you guys is, you know, you've talked about the company, you know, it's, this is a debt free company. It's right. a company that has abilities, capabilities to R&D to truly be innovative and go the whole way with it. Yeah. We're not cutting any corners on this. I mean, when we sourced all these products, we didn't look at the cheapest products to try to put a cheap trailer together. We looked at what was best out there and we weren't satisfied until we found the best of the best. <laughs> and, 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 yeah. and one of the neat things about what I'm seeing is some of the best of the best stuff is technically in Australia. Yeah. And you guys, instead of saying, well, let's just import this, you've found taken a different approach. We found local manufacturers that were able to produce that or better. Yeah, exactly. So. And that's really cool is because it's not just saying, hey, that is actually good. Let's bring it in and throw it on a trailer. You've kind of said, well, you know, we have a relationship with yeah. Lippert, with Maride and so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. Where we're able to produce similar products or better products. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you so. have. 
Time, time will tell, and as we as you guys test this, but this is really cool. One of the things that we, I mean, we've been here talking with you all day yesterday, right. and, and you know, getting information. And one of the things that I really like is the relationship you guys have with Garmin and, and all the technology that they can bring to it. Yeah, yeah, because Garmin controls everything within the coach, all the electronics. You have ability to have this machine in your truck and and chime in. Is because we all saw, we're playing with it, and yeah, you can have your off road maps on there. You can be controlling the suspension from there it's it's amazing i think it's the way the future for, yeah for even down, sure. down to the simple things of your fuse can blow and you can reset it Electronic. electronically yeah. on your little tablet yeah on your phone on your tablet on your computer you can access it and 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 <clears throat> What I'm so excited about is because you guys, are, you're, you know, you're not some small mom and pop shop. You have the ability and the resources and the connections to say, hey, will you design something completely new that doesn't even exist so that we can put it in here? And, and some of the things that I'm excited, we were talking with Garmin, you have two Garmin reps here. Right. And, and he was talking about how they have rela relationships with, um, is it Weingard, right? Weingard. Which, then Weingard has a relationship with Starlink. Yeah. So hopefully in the future we can tie into that. So. Yeah, and and, and and potentially be the first people in market with the, these types of relationships with Weingard, with Starlink, mm -hmm. to be able to give people access to internet anywhere they can go, and 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 all the connectivity, all the technology. It's really, really cool stuff, you know, like I love the electronic fuses, not having to pull out an automotive fuse when it blows, but being able to pull it up and diagnostic capabilities potentially on this well, tablet. can remote in from away and see what's going on and help troubleshoot what's going on with the coach, correct? Yeah, and that's amazing. So if you're out on the road and, and something's not working, there's gonna there's potential cap capability with this system to be able to like, you know, it's like OnStar type of yeah. thing, right? Yeah. In the right. middle of nowhere. Right, right. <laughs> it's really cool. So the tech is amazing. Um, it's innovative. It's going to be some of the most innovative tech on anything right. in the market right now. I, I, I believe that oh, yeah. right now. Um, and then uh, suspension. Yeah, one of the most exciting <laughs> parts for me is the suspension. We've seen pretty much every trailer, fifth wheel, motorhome out there. And suspension's a huge part of that, yeah. especially when you're going off-road. Going down the trails and stuff, yeah. yeah. And this is a, an independent suspension. All four wheels are independently controlled with airbags, so that you can take it up and down 10 to 12 inches. Because that's one of the things that when we started developing this trailer, we wanted to look at as for our outside kitchens or like this outside table that you're leaning on, to have it at the proper height. So that's why we want our air, so we can take it all the way down. When you're camping, you're at the proper height, but then when you go off-roading, you can lift it up that 10 to 12 inches. Yeah, not just six or eight inches. 10 to 12 is And you actually got, from our, from our lowest point, you got 25 inches of ground clearance. So wow. yeah. you can clear all them rocks and tree limbs that are laying down or whatever it, be, it might be. And, and, and this is, uh, now more ride has been around for a half a century, right? Yeah. Very reputable company, American-made, family-owned. Um, and I love, you know, they've been making fifth wheel hitches, heavy duty equipment for, you know, tr big, big, big rigs, right, in America. And so we're super familiar with it. They've just never made this type of stuff. Right. And you guys went out, reached out, make it, design it for us. We want it to be the best. We want it American made. And you guys have tested, right? Well, they've done, done testing. extensive testing. We went over to Navistar, uh, the testing proving grounds where we're located at, but they ran it a thousand miles, which is equivalent to like five, 10 years of use on a normal travel trailer. But they took it through a course uh, that was twice as intense as they do any other RV or anything else. They took it through a course where they actually take uh, army vehicles through. Yeah. So, I mean, they beat the like crazy on it. So. Yeah, I know. We were reading about that this proving grounds, and it says you, you know they test Humvees, military tanks, construction equipment. So like this is not some place that's just like you know a parking lot. Like they go through not, and really not put just it a paved road. Yeah, it went <laughs> over all sorts of bumps, hills and valleys, through water, and you know you name it. Going through a lot of testing. That's really exciting. I and mean, the underbelly is fully protected. It has diamond plate completely underneath everything, so nothing is going to get punctured when you're going down the trail. Everything is puncture proof. So that's really cool. I mean, one of the things that is super important and everybody wants to know is like, what is this wall made out of? What are the extrusions made out of around the edges? Like what puts it all together? It's a, a fully composite. The walls, the floor, the ceiling, everything is all composite. So there's no wood anywhere. So you don't have to worry about anything rust or uh, rotting out or water penetration or anything. 
But these walls are uh, virtually impenetrable. I mean, you can take a sledgehammer and hit on them, and you won't be putting a hole into it. Well, you so, were saying they did a test, and they yeah. showcased it at your facility <laughs> in celebration. We had an expo last week where we had a wall set up, and we challenged dealers to try to hit it with a sledgehammer and put a hole through it. And you guys, and, and you guys cool. also, the the company was doing show and casing. You yeah. know, the difference between plywood standard walls yeah. and these, and dropping things yeah. through it, right? Right. They uh, took a 20-pound slug and dropped it through an eight-foot tube and with a standard three-quarter inch plywood which is what majority of the people use it just blasted right through it blasted right through a laminated wall but once it hit these walls it just bumped straight up back up halfway so <laughs> that's amazing really so. indestructible. yes yes that's really really cool and it's all one compete one yeah, piece one piece there's no, no seams you don't have to worry about any seam tape coming off or any trim popping loose or anything like that so. what about all the edges like <laughs> it's all uh, put together with a PVC extrusion that has an adhesive in it that bonds out everything together. That's yeah. amazing because so. it's so important too when you're putting these things together because a lot of times you get an amazing wall, but then the way it's connected, you get a lot of thermal intrusions. But with these type of materials, it's all more thermal proof. Yeah, it's because it's, they're using mat similar materials that don't conduct as much. So that's really cool. That's exciting. I love that there's no tape. And I mean, how many people did you put on that roof when you were? We uh, had a dozen the, people at a our dozen open people house I, oh, on top up. of the yeah, roof. Yeah, that had to yeah. have been at least 2,000 pounds, which, yeah. which that is, goes to show a lot of the strength, right? Yeah, and, yes. and, you're, and, and the, they're about inch and a half thick. The um, walls and the ceiling are inch and a half thick. Yeah, yeah. correct. And, the, and this, this material is the same material you're going to see on semi-trailers, you know, refrigeration trucks. Yeah. And, I mean, these trailers are putting millions of miles no. on the highway and, and putting lots of cargo in it. So it's not cheap right. or poor quality stuff. This is of the highest quality composites. Yeah, let's take a let's take a walk around this thing. Yeah, and now right. there there are a few cool videos out already. There are. Um, big truck, big RV. He's done a walk through. So we we really wanted to you know bring it bring a different perspective and show you the creator behind it. But we will walk around and lots of new tours will be coming out soon. Uh, we'll probably have manufacturer tours here in a bit and all kinds of cool stuff. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and um, you can expect that. But let's, let's just walk around a little yeah. bit. I mean, this is huge. Tons of prep space outside with the outdoor kitchen right over here. <laughs> you got plugs, outlets. These windows open up all the way up. Polycarbonate, dual pane windows. Um, I, I'm just really excited about how everything is really truly an American manufacturer. These windows are own, it's Lippert, right? And they're one of the biggest component producers in America yeah. for the RV industry. So it's really neat how everybody's teamed up to really bring this together to market yeah, to make in the US. Yeah, it's a truly American made trailer. Yeah, and we have cameras, lots of cool tech, the light. Talk about that light really quick. Yeah, well, you can control it from the Garmin app and you can do just an LED, you know, a bright white light, or you can do amber, which, like, why would you not have an amber light right outside when you're camping? It doesn't attract the bugs as much, so. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Stairs are not mounted underneath. They flip up, go all the way inside, out of the way. Yep. Let's talk about a little bit kitchen over here. Yeah, so, I mean, th what I like is it's not, it's not too high, I'm a tall guy, but my wife is like five feet tall. <laughs> and so she's kind of always had a hard time with these outdoor kitchens that are really tall. And this is not tall at all because you can adjust the air suspension and have it low to the ground. So my wife could easily cook outside here. Yeah, and I think that's like one of the biggest complaints about so many off caravans, you know? Yeah. And, and you, have, you have hot and cold, you have refrigerator, you have stoves, you have prep space. Um, just everything is really, really accessible and easy. Even some storage right here. And everything, the water um, hot spigot, and cold water. hot and cold is protected inside a door. And, and woohoo, everybody knows that. I love my, uh, my good old latches right here. Quality latches. Quality latch. Right? Which is super nice. I love it. Magnet. So that actually holds up by a magnet. Yeah, this is like the most sturdy kitchen slide I've ever felt. Well, and it doesn't even have a leg. And it's all and made it's, by Moride, right? Yeah. Moride creates some of the most heavy duty track systems and hitches, right? Yeah. And so American made, American company, 
making all the suspension and slides yeah. and tracks. Yeah. Everything feels overbuilt from yes. what I've seen. For sure. Yeah. Articulating hitches, just like what you've seen um, with all of the Australian stuff, Cruise Master, McHitches, but this is once again, designed by more ride so they wanted to step into the market and truly make a articulating hitch um, all big large propane tanks we have 30 pounders in here um, covered up protected nobody can uh, walk away with them because <laughs> they're out of the way um, electric tongue jack convenience I uh, the, the Garmin app. I love how you yeah. can like just press the button and the whole trailer shelf levels. Yeah, you know the side bags left to right, but also the front tongue jack automatically will will go up and down as much as it needs to. And and I just love the details of the pause symbol and they yeah. kind of done that all throughout. You got light bars, you have lots of um, right. front facing camera on as well. Yeah, cameras all the way around. Yeah. And 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 once again, they are working with Garmin and all this tech is still coming out. This because they're designing new tech that's never been done. Potentially, you're going to be able to log in and look through your cameras anywhere. Um, you know, those are all things that could be happening down the road. But, you know, it's just really cool to see how they're innovating and doing yeah. so many new things in the yeah. market. But <clears throat> walking all the way around, I want to talk a little bit about this in here. Wow. Um, yep. That's yeah. the back of the. Yeah, you have your slide. your pier sign, Renogy, 3000 watt inverter in here. We got MPPT, um, solar charge controllers. Th this can have over a thousand watts of solar. Yeah. You have extra ports outside. Yep. Everything in here looks really clean, really neat, yeah. well done. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the battery bank right now is a 400 amp hour lithium, also by Renogy. They are talking about potentially having that uh, upgradable up to, up to six, yeah, maybe even more than that. But so, so you know, it's <laughs> it's really cool what they yeah. what they're doing here. Um, let's walk around and a ladder up to the roof. So if you need to get up there to access anything, kind of a unique design as well. It's not just standard ladder. I think it looks just, cool. just storage compartments. These are some of the things. This is your your wet bay where you have everything enclosed and protected from the the elements. Um, they, 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 you know, this trailer, they're calling it a three seasons, but I think it's actually could be a four seasons. It yeah. could get below freezing for yeah. sure. Cause it has heated tanks. All the plumbing is above the wall, above the floor. For so sure. it, it's really, I mean, compared to anything in Australia, yeah. this is going to be, a, yeah, this is much a four better. seasons yeah. <laughs> compared to anything we've seen in Australia. Yeah. Right. Um, I love how everything's accessible back here too. Right. Yep. Like water you can pumps get in right here. there, water filter right there. And you can just access this. That's yeah. really important um, features. You have an awesome garage, right? This is, I really like how they've done these garages. Prep trays right here. These things slide up open. I mean, these tire um, mounts yeah. swing over. And those are those came from a Jeep design. Maynard was telling me he saw those in SEMA and was like, I, I want that, I gotta have that. This area, really cool. You can just throw in your camp chairs, your equipment, like the stuff that, so you know, is stuff. just, this is a massive storage box. Yeah. It even has a vent in the side, so you can air it out if you need to. Let's go check out the inside real quick. This is definitely one of the most modern, cleanest interiors that I've seen. And like Maynard was saying, there's no wood in this camper at all. This is all CNC aluminum cabinetry with soft clothes. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of what they've done here. It feels really spacious. We had six or eight adult men in here yesterday. We were all chatting and going through kind of the details and we felt comfortable having six people. The fridge is massive. You guys have kind of seen, there are a couple of videos out there that go over the interior. This is just one of their models and I'm a huge fan. I think they use the space really well. The bench countertop goes down into a bed so you can sleep three adults. I laid down on this and it's not the widest, but it's, it's about six feet long. So you can, you can fit an adult here. Yeah, and, and Maynard and their whole team, they've been camping out here for a few days and the floor gets dirty when you're camping out. So what I love that they did is they put a vacuum down here so you can just sweep all the stuff right there. And 
it's it's just it goes into a bag right there and you can take it out so I mean campers are it's nice it's luxurious in here but they're meant to get dirty you're going to get dirt and you know bugs I, who knows what inside the camper and you can just sweep it right into the vacuum which is I think it's amazing it's really smart I, mean, I think one of my favorite parts about this is that I don't hit my head on anything usually the air conditioner is I have to you know hit my head or duck under the air conditioner so I actually feel very comfortable in here I could spend a lot of time in this camper for sure so here's the outdoor kitchen on the other model obviously this could be raised a little bit for me but I, I think this the whole griddle that they have is amazing hot and cold water at this and you can actually take off this neck right here and put on a quick connect to a hose and spray off your your shoes spray off whatever you need and the gas propane quick connect right here if you wanted to that's how you power this stove right here and massive fridge everything's metal no wood furion microwave wow yeah two big slide out compartments i love it you know for some people outdoor kitchens the number one feature that they look for in a trailer so I'm super happy with that and then let's take a peek inside come on in I think the the coolest feature about this one is this massive gun safe behind the TV secret safe it's huge I mean you could put so much stuff in here and I didn't even realize it was in here pretty hidden hidden behind the wall <laughs> that's a huge storage compartment yeah, what are you trying to say everything's just so nice really well put together no indoor kitchen on this one but um, I guess if an indoor kitchen is important then they have the other model and this one's actually gonna be um, pretty similar to the bunk model that they're coming out with the bunks will be back here and this one has a lot of a lot more storage in the back than the other model so you've got access right here to you know tons of storage so here we have the Garmin system that's its charging port and you can access everything in the coach from here water tank level you know the lights the fuses you can even access off-road maps from this and have this in your truck or you can download the Garmin app and just do it from your phone and then this the back of it's also the stereo the fusion stereo so pretty awesome well this this is really exciting um hopefully you've enjoyed this walk around and the information we've given uh super super exciting time to be you know an American, right? Yeah. To see these products coming to market is just really, really exciting. And and it's not just these two floor plans. Probably within six months, we yeah, might be seeing a bunk model, yeah. single axle. So it really, really, you guys have the capacity to truly uh, provide for everybody. Provide for everybody. Yeah. And and I think that's something that we've been lacking in the market, you know. Um, but you know, I just want to kind of close out and tell us a little bit about you know the name and and kind of where that came from. So the name is just, uh, we realize the power of taking a pause, you know, in our everyday hectic life, if you just stop and just pause and just rethink stuff. But that's what we're hoping they can do when they take this trailer, they can go off grid and just pause their life for a little bit, reboot again, and then restart and come back afresh and be renewed. Yeah, well, I was talking to a, a friend that owns a business and he just read this book and it's it was all about peak performers like the the top of the top highest athletes you know best athletes in the world and they say you know you know stopping to recover is is truly how you become the greatest in the world right and that's essentially what this is it's it's pausing it's well, it's that recover and then you reboot and recover restart and get that, back get back on with life but yeah and you're going to be better at life after this 100% right all right that's the idea and that's why that's why i love nature that's why i love camping is because it truly is like it, it's like you get out into nature it re-energizes you it truly reboots you and when you go back to the workplace you're just i sometimes feel like you're 100 percent re-energized and 
reboot it. Yep. Ready to go. Thank you so much. Well, we just want to say yeah. thank you. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate really it. appreciate it too. Hey Nate, Shane here over from over in Utah. How you doing, man? Doing good. It was good to see you at the expo. It's been a while, so it's good to see you and Michael and you know your family and Jordan and it was really fun. It was a good weekend. Yeah, it was fun. I I was uh, really looking forward. I still, <laughs> you know, it was a uh, it was really cool to also get out and uh, visit the just the expo and see all the cool new things. But most most importantly, um, you know meeting up with those guys uh, over at Palomino. Not just the product, but the whole team that is design designing the paws. I am a huge fan. And, you know, we spent several hours with them and there was a, you know, they had their families there. And, you know, while me and you and, and Maynard and Dylan, we were all talking about the trailers. And meanwhile, our wives were talking and we, with their families and they were around the campfire. And that was yeah, actually yeah. one of the most you know, memorable nights I've had in a long time. It was really fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was kind of, it was kind of a, um, I don't know. I don't like to be cheesy, but it was kind of a magical night. Like we yes. were all bar barbecuing, hanging out with the family, laughing. I, I swear we were, we laughed so much that night with them. And now you and I, as we were talking about it, I remember I was the first one that they kind of reached out to, right? Me and me and Josh. And they said, Hey, you guys, you know, we, we know, ROA and we know that you've been in this industry for a long time and and you guys are kind of the authorities on this off-road stuff and we want to talk with you about a new product that we're carrying and and I remember in the email thread I, I sent a video link for you to get on and you were like what the heck like why are we working with an American like I thought, brand, I thought brand. it was like a mistake I was like why are we having a meeting with you know, with Palomino, I was so confused. And yeah, you're like, just yeah. get on the call, you'll see. And uh, at the end of the meeting, I was pretty, sh I was pretty impressed. Um, but honestly, still kind of skeptical because we were on the pursuit of carrying the best products in the world. And it's, you know, Palomino, they they build good stuff, but not kind of what we're looking for. Not in our, you know, off-road, off-grid, best of the best kind of product that we're looking for. So I still had my reservations even after that meeting. Oh. Yeah, me too. You know, I met them. I was like, these guys are great, you know, but it's a big company. I mean, Palomino's now been around since 1968. It's a billion dollar company at the end of the day. And so you're wondering like, you know, what, is this a good thing? I mean, over, there's a lot of benefits in being with a well-established company. Obviously, the warranty is going to be really good. Like the processes and, and the operations, they're a debt-free company, right? In a downturn market, you're, you're going to have that security of, I'm going to go and buy a trailer from a manufacturer that's reputable, that's been around for half a century. They're not going anywhere tomorrow, right? And, and so like, there's so many benefits, but at the same time, I've been working in the RV industry in the U.S. for, you know, almost two decades. I mean, a decade and a half. And and I was like, oh, I don't know either. But after actually meeting these guys in person, going through the trailer, I don't know. What was your what was your takeaway? What was your thoughts? I was so impressed. I think uh, for, for a few main reasons, number one is the technology that they have in this trailer is truly amazing how they've teamed up with garmin and even the more ride system there's a lot of technology so they're not just simply going out there and, and taking things that they see that's a good quality product they're actually teaming up with these you know reputable companies who have the capability to innovate and design a product specifically for the pause specifically for what they're building so the tech that i saw was truly mind-blowing and things that i had never seen in a trailer or even heard of. And not just the tech, you talk about the tech. One of the things that really impressed me was the quality, honestly. Like, like even just- those were, those were technically like the first few, first few trailers built and the art, like the quality, the, the, the fit and finish on all the small details was amazing. I would happily oh. have owned one of those and been, <laughs> you know, been super happy with it because I, it was put together really well, you can tell. 
Oh yeah, 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 and that and that was something that really impressed me when I was when I was there with all the guys with Maynard with Dylan all the you know the guys there they were like yeah we've been camping in it here we were camping in it there they've been towing it all over the place and and when we were going through it Maynard was like yeah you know I used this and this and I figured like this should be a better day and he's truly the visionary behind this and and he's so passionate about the product and and you know just our our conversations, this is, was off foot film, right? He, he's talked with me, Shane, and he said, you know, I was so excited when you guys came out and that we've been able to um, start this relationship because as I've looked at ROA, I, I actually do believe that you guys, you and I are very similar in the sense that we want to build something that's quality in America. And we both love the outdoors. We are actually campers. We're users of the product. And that's something that we're looking for. You know, I, I, like people don't always know what's happening behind the scenes, right? Last year, I flew 40 times last year, all over the country, meeting with manufacturers, potential manufacturers, and sitting down and trying to see if we could have something built for us or or we could collaborate. And and a lot of times I would just leave those meetings and say, you know, we don't really align. These people don't use the trailer. They don't camp in the trailer. And, And I don't believe like you can truly understand what the end user wants if you're not a user of the product. Yeah, we don't wanna just be selling a good product, it needs to be backed by a good team of honest, hardworking, innovative people that are, you know, yeah. invested in the product, that it's they're passionate about it. We don't want to just yeah. be selling things that, you know, there's nothing behind it. And that's why how I am personally. So it, it's yeah. so refreshing to be working with a company that is passionate about it. They're using the trailers and it's a lifestyle. It's it's not just a a business for them. It's really what they do and they're passionate about it. For sure. For sure. And I'm really excited about it too. And that actually brings us to a main point. And we just wanted to let everybody know um, these units, they're not like in the distant future, like in a year or two, they have been behind the scenes in productions, in production, working on these trailers for, you know, two years or so and they are actually going into production and we're going to have units landing really in the next potentially by the end of november available units so um now they are not trying to have a huge production um run next year because they want to make sure that they don't devalue the product kind of like how airstream does they don't build a hundred thousand airstreams because they know that that devalues the product overall they want the people to it's the right way to do it it is. Yeah, they're, yes. they're doing it the right way. They're, they're doing it the right way. They're, they're keeping the quality. They're building them, you know, slowly to where they can maintain quality and not surpass the demand, right? So yeah. Yeah. they're doing it the right way, and we're really excited to be getting them here in the next month or so. And if if anyone's interested in hearing more about them, we know we've walked through them. We've talked a lot with Maynard and Dylan, and we're going to be accepting down payments and reservations to, to get in line to get one. Yeah, on a list. Yeah, so if you are serious and you want to get on a list, how do people get a hold of you? The first units are actually going to be landing in South Carolina. We are one of their first dealers in the U.S. And the, some of the first units that you're going to be able to put your hands on are in South Carolina. How do people get a hold of you, Nate, if they're really interested and at least want to get on the waiting, on the waiting list. list? Yeah, at least to get on the waiting list. If to, any questions, to come and look at one. The best, the best way is to send us a text or call us. And our number is 801-860-0035. And, yeah, yeah. you know, you'll have the option to, to talk to Utah or South Carolina. And, you know, we're out here in South Carolina with the, the pause for now. That's where we're getting the first ones, like you said. Super excited. I, I, I am like, I can, <laughs> I, really, I, 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 I am a pretty passionate person and I get excited uh, about a lot of cool things we're working on. But this is this is unique. It, it is a little bit different than a lot of the stuff we've been working on. And just being a true, true, um, every aspect of this thing American made, which is just really neat and, and unique. Um, and they're actually going to have four different floor plans um, by next year. The two that were in the video you've seen, and they're coming out with two more. What were the other two ones? going to have one with bunks for the families which is a you know we've been waiting for something like that for a long time and then they're doing a smaller model with a single you know not it doesn't have an axle but two wheels instead of four wheels to make it shorter and lighter for uh, more of the smaller trucks because 
the ones that we saw and the ones that you you know in the video that you guys just saw those are pretty heavy they're i think around seven thousand pounds dry so you do need a bigger size truck so next year we should be seeing a smaller model that's good for smaller tow vehicles yeah for sure and that small they're trying to hit that um tacoma or jeep gladiator market so we're we're talking pretty 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 light which is really cool so lots of exciting things in the future uh we're just we're honestly we're honored that they reached out to us at the same time we don't like to just bring on anybody we feel like it has to be a right fit and after meeting the guys hanging out with them you know t over two days we feel we feel great about this the company the team and the product i honestly i was super super impressed with just the precision the qc the, you know everything was very very clean very neat they've been around since 1968 they know how to make a lot of trailers and yeah they have their systems down and i believe that they want to make a quality trailer and they'll have the capability and the capacity to actually fulfill on this trailer so super excited about it hey thank you for watching everybody uh Shane here with ROA Off-Road. I'm at our Experience Center in Utah. And take it away, Nate. Yeah, again, I'm Nate here in South Carolina. We're in the upstate region in South Carolina. Reach out to us if you guys are interested in the pause. Happy to help with any questions you guys have. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like and maybe share this with somebody that you think might be interested in a game-changing product made in America. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.